Hello and thank you for joining me on this video about ransomware. Today's video is basically going to be a brief overview about ransomware and the types of ransomware as well as a new program that has come out by Malwarebytes to prevent and detect ransomware from being installed. Now, in this guide, tutorial, video, whatever you want to call it, uh, I'd like to point out that currently we are running on server 2008. This is not a regular computer environment. This isn't Windows 7, Vista, or 8, or 10. This is a server environment, and today we're going to be installing a program that's basically in a testing and trial phase by Malwarebytes called Anti-Ransomware. Now, Anti-Ransomware isn't going to be a separate product for Malwarebytes in general. More or less, it's going to be integrated with their existing product lineup uh, to better expand upon their protection. Uh, so, what I'm showing you today is not necessarily going to be viable in the future, more or less, once you have Malwarebytes uh, paid protection, whether it be their anti-malware or their rootkit prevention, uh, it will be included in either of those or any of their other products. Nothing has been fully determined as of yet. But I'd like to give you a brief history upon ransomware. Alright, so ransomware is a type of malicious software designed to block access to a computer system with a sum of money until a sum of money is paid. So, with that said, basically ransomware is basically holds your computer hostage until you pay a sum of cash to whatever the number of person addresses on the screen displayed to retrieve your files. Now, the FBI has set up a website that uh, you can send an encrypted file to to see if one of their ends can actually decrypt your files. And if so, which is very, very low chance, unfortunately, um, they can de decrypt your files and you can get your files back. Uh, but on the unfortunate side of things, once ransomware has hit, the FBI's decryption process is only about 2-5% to 5 effective. Uh, most other ransomware um, has not been reported yet, so you, there is no cure. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get started with the two types of ransomware. There is an encryption, with, which encrypts personal files and folders uh, and may lock a a file or create a file that says lock uh, and or you may only notice the ransomware once you open a file or a couple of files uh, then you'll notice on the screen uh, what what the ransomware wants uh, and it's also known as a file encryptor ransomware uh, the second type of ransomware is a locking ransomware which locks the screen by presenting a full screen or big image across the screen uh, to display the ransom requirements to get your files back. Now this does not encrypt your files, so your files are still there, you just cannot see them. Uh, in order to uh, get back to your files, you would have to pay the ransom and then the pop-up or screen would disappear. Um, this type of ransomware can be removed. I'll get more on that later. Um, so how do you remove ransomware? Well, like I said, the locking type you can remove. There are methods and programs to remove the locking ransomware, or you could do a system restore and remove it that way. That sometimes works. Now, unfortunately, if you do have the encryption ransomware, your files, unless you can get to the FBI and you do have a similar ransomware to what's been reported and they can decrypt your files, your files are lost. There is no recovery unless you have a good, healthy backup uh, that you can revert to. Unfortunately, there is no help for those files unless you have a backup. Um, now, what about files that are encrypted and you pay the ransomware and they're still encrypted? Well, Unfortunately, one, you should never pay the ransomware. It's like a spam, uh, and it's never legit. They just want to take your money. So never trust ransomware regardless. It's on your computer illegally. It's without your permission. Don't trust it. Just basically, when you get ransomware, shut down the computer. Now, what are your options? Uh, first, you should be making reliable backups. 
either to an external drive or off-site somewhere. Uh, most of the time for a household, I recommend just like a small uh, NAS or an external hard drive that you can back up to. Uh, or if you can't afford that, sometimes even a flash drive or a CD or a DVD to back up your important or your very personal files. Um, on top of that, uh, Malwarebytes has come out with a new program called Anti-Ransomware, which is, like I said, going to be part of their existing products. And what it will entail is a proactive solution. It is going to constantly monitor your computer's activity. Now, this doesn't get into your sensitive details. It's not going to look at what you're doing the whole time. It's just looking for the selected signatures, which would be uh, anything from Trojans and whatnot, to look at how the ransomware would be getting in. And it tells you in advance and prevents that ransomware from getting onto your system. Now, we're going to go ahead and show you here on Server 2008R2 how to install ransomware. And I'll go ahead and get the process started and I'll be back shortly. Alright, so I'm running this setup now. As you can see, I'm running from the network drive. Uh, go ahead and click yes if you've ever run it. And bam. I'll go ahead and post a link to the inside ransomware uh, in the description of this video as well for those who want to try it. Now it is in beta. It's beta 4 at the moment. If you want to go ahead and try it, I recommend on something that you're not using as a daily, just a test. Especially since you definitely do not want ransomware on your computer. Alright, and it's going to be a basic setup and install. Go ahead and click next. Accept. And over here, this is basically what it's going to tell you about this build. I'm going to go ahead and install it to my default uh, C drive. Now this server to donate does not host anything for me. This is just uh, a free license that I had backed up somewhere off a box. Um, it came off a server I've actually decommissioned, so I'm using the license as basically it. This is a test environment. And go ahead and click install. Once you're to this point, it's going to take care of everything on its own and extract and install everything to where it needs to go. Alright, and now we're finished. Go ahead and click finish. And bam, it's installed. Now, here is your new control panel or console for anti ransomware. Now, of course, as you see at the top, it's beta. And 0.9.12.336 is the build version. Uh, and of course, it is build beta 4. Alright, so on your dashboard, this looks probably similar to malware anti malware, or malware by its anti malware. Uh, it, like I said, it's going to be integrated at some point in the future once it's fully released. And so, at this screen, nothing to be done. There's absolutely nothing that you would need to do um, to enable or monitor or scan. It takes care of everything in the background to make sure you're fully protected. Now, at the bottom, of course, it says it's a beta release, and you can give some feedback if you want. It, if you want to stop protection, you can. These instances would be if you are uh, uninstalling or reinstalling programs that may throw up a what's called a false positive and lock the system. Um, but other than that, any type of ransomware that it does detect or trojan, it will throw into quarantine just like it does with malware bytes, anti malware. Uh, you can add exclusions if it does throw up a false positive and you're trying to install or download something, you can add that exclusion or file to this list. Thank you for watching. This has been a video by Cross Industries.